Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can encrypt a folder and how you can hide it so that if other people are using your computer or if you just want to be extra secure about some files you have, uh, you can keep them safe and out of the average user's eyes. So just to uh, clarify here, this is not an advanced technique. Um, it's extremely simple. Anybody's able to do it. And because of that, it's also not extremely secure. But if you just want a little bit of extra protection on some of your files, maybe you're storing a password or something, this is a great way that you can do it. And it's very easy. You don't have to download any other programs. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. So obviously we need a folder or a file that we want to uh, secure. So in this case, I'm just going to do a folder. I'm just going to name it secure like that you can name it whatever you want you can place it wherever you want um, I'm just putting mine on the desktop so that we can see it right there and just note that you can actually see the folder you can open it up and it's on the desktop right there where my cursor is okay uh, so the first thing we're gonna do here is we're actually just going to populate this folder so I'm just gonna put in uh, a text file name it password and then inside uh, here it doesn't really matter you don't have to put anything but I'm just gonna put one two three like that so that might be our password for something and we want to protect that so now in order to encrypt this folder which is the first step we have to right click on it scroll all the way down to where it says options or sorry properties so it says properties and then you're going to click on this advanced tab under the general setting here okay now here you can see there's a few options what we want to click is encrypt contents to secure data so you're going to click that check mark and then you're going to go ahead and click ok and there you go you've now encrypted it so now what you want to do is just click apply and here we go so now it says you have chosen to make the following attribute changes to encrypt uh, so you want to make sure the second one here is uh, checked so apply changes to folder subfolders and files so that means anything inside of the folder will also be encrypted go ahead click OK and there you go you're done so now you've encrypted this file inside of the folder and you can see uh, I can't really zoom in here, but if you can see there's a little lock on the actual file, so it's different uh, if I make a new text file, it might, we'll see if it puts that lock there. Yeah, so it, everything inside that folder will be encrypted, and you can see that there. Okay, so now the next step. So we have it encrypted, but if you actually see here, we can open it up, um, and it doesn't, like, it doesn't ask for a password or anything. So say someone else is using the same user as you, uh, and you want to just make this more secure, what you can actually do is you can hide this folder. So you see here on our desktop, it shows the folder, you can see it, the name, and the little lock. Now if we want to actually hide this, we can just right click on the folder again. You may have seen this option before. If we go to properties, you can actually check mark hidden right there. And then if you go ahead and apply that, uh, so again, you're just going to apply to the folder and the subfolders. You click OK, OK like that. You can see the folder actually disappears, and if I try to click where it was, nothing's popping up uh, and we can't seem to grab it so now the question might be well how do we actually find that folder so if we want to see that folder what we need to do is we need to go to the view tab in our windows explorer and we just need to check mark this box here that says hidden items now when we check that you see two folders come up so the folder that i made before called test um, doesn't have anything in it and then this secure folder right here so Again, then we can see our password.txt in there. And if we want to hide it, all we have to do is go to view and then uncheck hidden items like that. Now, again, this is an extremely simple task. Uh, nothing advanced at all about it, but just say you want a little extra security on your files. That's a really easy way that you can encrypt it and hide it and make sure that the average user won't be able to find it. Again, if you want more security on it, then you would have to encrypt it more, maybe put a password protection on it. But this is just a little bit extra security. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you liked, please like and subscribe. And I will see you again in another video.